My name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today from the beautiful Everyday Counts program space. A uh, restorative practice is fully supported, slow, gentle movements, and then fully supported poses to help us relax deeply. Um, so usually we could do this in a bed if we needed to. Today is a little different because we are using a sturdy kitchen chair, as well as the regular two thick bed pillows or couch cushions, whatever you've got that has a little bit of firmness to it. And I've got two fleece blankets here. These could be any sorts of blankets or even more pillows. Um, yeah, so we will begin. As usual, you know, I'm only making suggestions and you are welcome to press pause, to skip ahead, to try a different class. This is your practice and your time on the mat. So feel free to do as you choose. So this is what I'm going to suggest here, is perhaps one of these pillows will be used for under our head. And the other pillow is nearby in case we need it. We've also got these blankets here and one might be nice to have under your hips, which is, or your buttocks, which is where it will be. Um, and the other blanket might be used for over your body. So what you're gonna notice here is I'm gonna get close to the chair legs. I'm gonna lean into this elbow, bring my legs onto the chair, and then bring my head onto this pillow. And if this feels like too much support, you can always switch to the blanket or a smaller pillow. Um, if you'd prefer your legs long, you could even push this chair away and just rest the ankles. I like having my calf supported. Totally different for everyone. Um, and again, if it's chilly in the room, you'll notice I am wearing a toque because it is chilly in this room. And you could even bring a blanket over your body or even just over any part of your body that wants to feel extra, extra cozy. So this is a bit like legs up the wall. And it's also a nice way to lengthen the low back and kind of let the weight of the thighs rest down towards the pelvis. Uh, so keep making adjustments. If you're not quite comfortable, even a little extra support under the hips or less, making sure that chair feels secure. And you're warm enough as you close your eyes. Beginning to breathe through your nose if you can. Continuing to notice if you are comfortable, continuing to make any adjustments to increase your comfort. In this practice, your comfort is the most important ingredient. So let's begin to bring our awareness to our breath. You might first notice the air moving in and out through your nostrils or past your lips. You might notice the feeling of cooler air moving in. warmer air moving out. That cool, soft breath in. Warmer, slower breath out. Maybe following that breath all the way in and inviting or noticing how your abdomen rises and expands with the in-breath. Softens and descends with the out-breath. Maybe 
in breath, cool, soft and deep. In the out breath, warmer, softer, slower. Stay with the breath. Cool, soft, deep in breath. Warmer, softer, slower out breath. So here we are now, already perhaps feeling the effects of that relaxation breath pattern, which we will take with us throughout the practice. If it suits you, perhaps rest a hand to your belly and a hand to your chest. And offer yourself some sweetness here, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. And slowly releasing your hands. Ah, yawning, stretching, or just kind of wiggling fingers or toes. Ooh, I've always got a yawn. <laughs> well, let's walk our feet to the edge of the chair. Maybe hug the knees to the belly here. Maybe a little rock from side to side. Could roll ourselves all the way over to one side, press the hand into the floor to help guide us upright. Yeah. So moving those props out of the way just enough that we can invite some gentle movement before the next pose. So this is what I'll suggest. If it's comfortable to do so, lean into the hands and take the feet wide. Knees bend, and we'll rock the knees from side to side a few times. And if you need to be on forearms here, that's fine. That works too. And this little bit of movement between poses is totally optional. It's a way to prepare the body for the next pose, but they're gentle enough poses that it's okay. Okay to simply wait or move ahead to the next supported posture. I'm gonna offer one more bit of movement here. Um, again, we could rest on the hands or forearms. We're gonna feel as if, we're gonna take the feet a little closer. We're gonna feel like there's a little string tugging on the center of our chest. It's gonna tug the center of the chest up to the ceiling. We're going to lift the heart. 
heart, lift the chin, the gaze. And then try the opposite movement. We're going to drop the chin down to the chest. We tilt the pelvis back, kind of rounding through the spine. So this is kind of like our cat-cow that we do on hands and knees in a regular yoga practice. We're gently arching and rounding the spine. You can take those hands a lot wider, or again, you could be on forearms here. We're looking for a place of kind of openness before stretch. Inviting some movement here, and I'm exaggerating the movement a bit so it's easier for you to see. This can be the tiniest bit. And just once more in either direction. Great. So we'll sit upright. And this is um, where we'll prepare for the next pose. So I'm going to show you some options here. And if you kind of know this one or know where you want to go with it, that's great. And hopefully we'll find some options that work for you. Um, so. First option, if, if taking the legs wide, like we're doing here, um, feels a little bit stretchy in the inner thighs, you know that you are a better candidate for bringing the legs under the chair um, if the chair has legs that you can get your leg under and bringing a pillow under your knees. Yeah, so there. Now if we find we get here and we're kind of rounded back, we can't quite sit on top of our hips here. Um, we could take one of those blankets. We could sit on it. So just know that you can kind of tip yourself over. Get yourself onto that blanket. Um, so this is one leg position. That's if taking the legs wide feels stretchy. That's where you want to go with it. Here's another option. So if it's comfortable to take the legs to either side of the chair legs, you could bring a pillow under each knee. Yeah. We're sitting on the blanket, we've got a pillow under each knee. And now we could take the other blanket, fold it, place it on the pillow, on the chair seat. And this is where we're gonna have to adjust for comfort. So we're sitting on the Blanket, our hips, we're kind of on our hips, we're on our sitting bones, and now we're going to round forward and rest our forehead on the seat of the chair. So you'll notice I'm resting my forehead actually on the blanket, so I've got space for my face. I'm not squishing my nose into the seat of the chair. And this is going to be different for everyone, whether you have to roll the blanket a little firmer, whether you need a second or third pillow. I'm kind of intertwining my fingers a bit to keep them comfortably on the chair seat. Yeah, supporting those arms. And so noticing how this feels. And of course, some people might simply cross the hands, rest the forehead on the forearm. Yeah, so there's a gentle opening to the back along the spine. There's a gentle opening to the inner thighs. But we're finding that place of openness before stretch. And from here, resting the forehead, closing your eyes. And with eyes closed, you might notice any other discomfort. You could continue to make adjustments for that comfort. Letting the weight of your upper body really rest on that chair. Letting the weight of your legs rest on those pillows. And because we're kind of rounded forward onto our belly, you might find that there's a little less space to expand the abdomen with the in-breath. So I'm going to invite you to bring some awareness to the low back and into the waist. And as you breathe in, notice can you soften into the back and waist and invite some expansion there. And exhale just as slow and soft. to focus on the gentle movement of the breath. And cool, soft, deep in-breath. And a warmer, softer, slower out-breath.
And as we continue to allow the body to settle, fully supported. And we begin to focus our awareness on the breath just a little more. And by noticing when the inhale changes direction and turns into an exhale. Notice that moment where the exhale changes direction and turns into an inhale. Without being the doer, you aren't the one that chooses the changing of direction. You simply notice that cool, deep in-breath and turning into that warmer, slower out-breath. And turning into that cooler, softer, deeper in breath, turning into that warmer, slower, softer out breath. Stay with it. Pay attention. Inviting this relaxation breath pattern to work its scientifically proven magic, nudging us towards deeper states of calm and ease. If your mind has wandered, that's okay. That's what minds do. Let's keep coming back to the journey of the breath, following along moment by moment, breath by breath, even noticing that moment. Soft, deep in-breath changes direction, becoming a softer, slower out-breath. Let's simply pay attention for the next five or six breaths. As you complete those breaths, just notice if you're ready to move. You're always welcome to stay in any of these poses as long as you're comfortable. If you are ready to move, maybe it's the fingers or toes. Oh, maybe a yawn or a stretch or 
as you slowly press your hands into the chair so you can bring yourself slowly upright. Yeah. yeah, so we can lean into those hands and kind of wiggle off those pillows and take a moment to return to that movement we did at the at, right before this pose where we lean into the hands and rock the knees. And then, what did we do? We brought the feet a little closer. We did a little bit of extension and flexion of the spine. We lifted the heart. And then we dropped the chin to the chest and allowed a gentle rounding forward. So if you so choose, you can do a few of these. Uh, I'm just shaking out those hands for a moment. We're going to do one more set of movements to prepare us for the next pose, which will be a supported twist. So we're leaning into the hands again. And as the knees rock to the right, lean into that right hand. Let's sweep the left arm off the mat and slowly reach up behind that. Sweeping the arm back as if you're trying to reach your fingertips away from your body. And the hand comes down, the knees shift. And as the knees fall to the left, reaching that right arm around, sweeping it behind. Finding that gentle twist in the body. And slowly back. Let's do this a couple more times in either direction. If you enjoy it, this is one of my favorite movements, but not everyone, especially as we put pressure into that hand. And we're looking for that place of openness before stretch. So just knowing we only have to go so far into this. Gentle twisting. Once more, either direction, maybe even closing your eyes, noticing how it feels. Knees fall to the right, the left arm sweeps around. center. Yeah. So we can move this chair a little bit out of the way. It makes a bit of a noise. And now I'm sitting in the middle of my mat with my legs in front. It's okay if the knees are bent. Um, we won't be sitting here for long. But this is just to help set us up. So I've got one pillow. I've got two pillows. They're stacked lengthwise. And I've got blankets where I might need them. So I'm gonna lean into these pillows as I bend my knees to the other side. So I don't need to perfectly stack them, but pillows at this end, legs are at that end. I'm bringing hands to either side of the pillows and then slowly lowering myself down onto them. So I've turned my head in the same direction as my knees. And this is where we can start to get comfortable. So depending on what's happening through our chest, we might need to adjust breast tissue, or if it's a little bit too much pressure on one, we could always be a little more on this shoulder. We could even bring a little blanket under that shoulder or breast to support. Even if the forearm's quite elevated here on the other side, we could have a blanket underneath. Another option here, if there's too much compression through the abdomen, is to push those pillows further away and then lowering down onto them. Yeah. So, 
settling down. And another option here is if you know that you like to stack the knees or just need a little bit of support between bony bits or tender bits, that can be quite helpful. And again, if that forearm is hovering, we could support the hand. So basically we're trying to build the ground up to support us so we can settle. And same goes with that bottom hip. If it just feels a bit tender, can we make some adjustments or put a little pillow in there to support us? Okay, so noticing how it feels to be here as you close your eyes and become still. And sometimes that helps us to notice if we're still a little bit uncomfortable. Your comfort matters most. We are all really good at being uncomfortable, but sometimes finding that comfort takes a little bit of experimenting. So keep experimenting. Seek your comfort. And once you've found it again, become still knowing that you can move at any point. And closing your eyes. And starting to settle your whole body. And just like the last pose, there's a little bit less space in the belly to expand with the breath. You can invite it especially into that top side waist and into the low back with the inhale. And softening and settling the whole body with the exhale. We've been quite focused on the breath in this practice today. And I wanted to stay with it. We're going to focus on the breath in a slightly different way. We're going to add a count to the breath. And so it doesn't have to be the same count as mine, but here's my example. You inhale to a count of two. One, two. Could exhale to a count of three. One, two, three. We're inhaling one, two. Exhaling two, three. Stay with it. Let it be simple. Let it be enough to hold your attention, to keep you here. And feeling the in-breath, a count of two. Feeling the out-breath, a count of three. softening and settling a little bit more with each exhale. your mind begins to wander. It's okay, that's what minds do. For a couple minutes more, can we come back to the easy count of the breath? And that inhale, one, two, 
Exhale, feeling the body settle a little bit more onto the soft support beneath. Just a few more breaths here. Letting go each exhale. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free. If you're ready, you can walk your hands under your shoulders and gently press the floor away. So again, just moving things out of the way a little bit. If you'd like to invite some movement, we'll return to the same movement we did right before this pose. So the feet are wide and we're rocking the knees. And then we'll add that twist. And so if the knees are falling to the right, we're leaning into that right hand. We're sweeping the left arm around. Reaching behind. And sweeping that arm back. And then knees shift to the left. And I'm sweeping the right arm around. And let's do this once more in either direction, if you so choose. And to the right, we sweep the left arm around. And if the knees fall to the left, We'll sweep that right arm around. And back to center. Let's set this pose up for the other side. So it might be as simple as turning yourself around just so I can keep facing forward. I am going to bring my pillows to the other side. You might have different needs on this side in terms of support, so and be ready to maybe um, explore this in a different way. So I'm leaning into my pillows as I bring my legs to this end of the mat. I bring either side of my hands to the pillows to lower down. I'm turning to face the same direction as my knees. And continuing to adjust for my own needs. Yeah, so it might be that pillow between the legs. It might be making more space for the belly by pushing the pillows away. It might be leaning a little more into one shoulder, or even propping up the other shoulder 
or adjusting breast tissue so there's less pressure. And another option I didn't mention is even elevating the head at this end sometimes takes some pressure off the chest or just feels more comfortable in the body. So we're gonna continue to adjust. I like that support of the lower forearm if it is hovering. Yeah. And if you're starting to feel chilly, maybe one of those blankets is actually being saved for warmth. Yeah, you can get nice and cozy in these poses. And so let's begin to settle in. You know, you can keep moving around until you're comfortable. And sometimes we need to close our eyes and connect to the breath in order to notice if we are comfortable. And breathing through your nose. A soft, deep in-breath. softer, slower out breath. And let's return to that count of the breath to help not only nudge us towards a greater sense of relaxation and ease, but also to simply focus our mind and help us to simply be here, to be here now. The only place to be. And so maybe the inhale is a count of one, two, the exhale, one, two, three. But any count will do, just knowing that the exhale is a little longer and then the inhale, that each exhale is an opportunity to soften and settle more fully onto the soft support beneath you. Inhaling, one, two, Exhaling, one, two, If your mind wanders, that's okay. That's what minds do. And part of the practice of mindfulness is simply noticing so you can come back to whatever you're focusing on. In this case, that count of the breath. Inhaling one, two. Exhaling one. Each time the mind wanders away, simply come back. A couple more minutes will be with this count of the breath. Each exhale letting us sink and settle and soften.
let's offer just a few more breaths here. feel ready, just know that you can stay here as long as you choose. And here's a wiggle to the fingers or toes. A yawn. And maybe you can walk your hands under your shoulders and gently press the floor away. All right. So if you do want to come back to that gentle twisting movement, you're welcome to it. Um, if there's any other movement you need to do, please feel free. It is just about time for final relaxation. And I'd like to offer um, the same pose that we did at the start of our practice with our legs up on the chair. But if that does not serve you or you'd prefer something simpler, um, you're always welcome to lie on your back and place those pillows under your knees. We do that in a lot of our restorative practices. Um, yeah, or any other position, if you want to get on your couch or into your bed, um, grab more blankets, more pillows, feel free. And so I think this time I'm going to place this pillow under my hips, um, just for a change. And I'm going to place the blanket under my heels. So there's lots of variations here we can play with. And I'm going to save this blanket for my body because it is chilly in here. Again, we could sit right on that pillow or blanket that's going to be supporting our buttocks. We could lean into the pillow or the floor as we get our legs up here, gently lowering down. Ah. So I've got that little extra support at my heels. I've got a little extra support under my hips and then a little extra warmth over my body. Yeah. So all get yourself all tucked in here as cozy as can be. And some of us naturally want those arms out to the sides a bit to help soften and open through the chest. But some of us love to have the hands to the belly or the chest or somewhere nearby. And this helps us tune into the breath a little bit more. So continue to make yourself comfortable. Maybe closing your eyes will help. Oh, the breath has been a great anchor for us today to focus our awareness here in the present moment, using the breath as this beautiful tool to nourish the nervous system and nudge us towards deeper states of relaxation. And now we're going to imagine that the breath has an invitation that it's offering us. Each inhale is helping us expand our awareness throughout our whole body. And each exhale is helping us kind of deepen our surrender to gravity, to settle more fully onto the soft support beneath us. So each inhale, it almost feels like that expansion of the inhale kind of just keeps going as if we could breathe right out to our toe tips and our fingertips, 
and the crown of our head. And then that whole body breath helps us settle the whole body onto the floor. So let's just play with that as we close our eyes. Let's notice the next in-breath and kind of feel our awareness expanding out to our toe tips, our fingertips, the crown of our head. And then that feeling of the exhale, inviting the whole body to settle onto the floor and onto the support beneath it. So stay with this invitation of the breath, allowing the inhale to invite us out to the toe tips, the fingertips, the crown of the head, and everywhere in between. Each exhale inviting the whole body to sink and soften and settle, breath by breath. If your mind begins to wander, that's okay. Come back to the invitation of the breath to expand your awareness, to deepen your surrender. It's in the noticing where we find the gift of mindfulness. Come back to the invitation of the breath, expanding your awareness, deepening your surrender for a few moments more. Stay with it. Let this be enough to hold your attention.
You are welcome to stay right where you are for as long as you are comfortable. If you would like to bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest to offer yourself that same bit of sweetness, please feel free that kind word, that prayer, that affirmation just for you. This is where I will leave you and take your time moving out of this pose. But again, stay as long as you choose. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, complaints, requests, We'd love to hear them at the Everyday Counts program. So feel free to reach out. Thanks again for joining me. Bye for now.